I'm afraid I've left you guys a little bit out, but uh, what I did in this particular video wasn't very exciting. It's just stretching things out. This drive shaft was eight and a half inches long. Uh, now it's uh, 26 inches longer. Um, this is a 120 wall DOM which it, the way it worked out with the size and everything was that I was able to heat this almost red, slide it on there, shrunk it on, and then just re-welded right over top of the, the other weld that was already there. And uh, same thing in the front. Sweated it together and uh, welded all the way around. I think, I'm pretty sure that 120 DOM will be sufficient to drive that drive shaft. And uh, the drag links, this was, uh, this is also DOM. Uh, I cut these. These had to be extended two and a half inches. Uh, they're plug welded here and here, or rosette welded, and then welded all the way around. I can still adjust them. And then my axles are also 120 DOM. They had to be extended two and a half inches. And all that is done. Uh, I'm going to embark. I'm going to go ahead and put the tires and wheels back on. Try and... Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to try and sew up some of this electrical stuff. Get it mounted and everything. I mean, it'll, it'll all have to come back off to get painted. But uh, And I also need to get uh, floorboard mounting tabs welded to the frame. I'm going to use the existing skid plate just as a just as a layout for where the bolts went through it. I may not use it, but I'll use it for the the bolt layout, and then uh, start on my subframe, which will be you know it'll come across here, underneath, in front of the or in back of the front tire, and the same thing in back. I'm going to come back with this. And hopefully, I haven't even put my order in for my round tube yet. Probably get about 100 feet of uh, inch and a half, 85 thousandths wall. Uh, it'll be welded tubing, electric metal welded welding tube. But the A-arms are all in place. Everything's bolted down nice and smooth. Same thing with the A-arms over here. I'm anxious to see how this visco lock works. I'm used to just having an open differential. But uh, the wheel spacers are on the back also. I put two inch wheel spacers, which I'm, uh, I actually it's 50 in the back and it's 51 in the front. And I have the potential to, to go a little wider, which it's just, it just happens that way that the offset, like these aftermarket wheels, the offset on them is a little more offset than what's on here stock. I'll stay with the stock wheels for a while, probably till I wear those tires out. And then when I get the, uh, if I go to aftermarket wheels, I can get the offset and, you know, go two inches wider. Gives it a little bit more stability. Um, the fact the the stability kind of, doesn't come into question so much here is where that's the regular seat height where you would sit before well when I get done my seat height is at about half the engine so I'm dropping the center of gravity there you know a foot 14 inches something like that plus I'm adding you know width weight to it and the weight that's on the bottom is more than the weight that's on the top of the cage so that's more weight below the center of gravity so, that's where we stand right now.